Hello, my dear students, and welcome to Eng 202, Unit 12, Lesson 2, Making Mistakes. Today, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to identify third conditional, extract specific information from reading text, identify a set of collocations in the context of mistakes. Now let us read the examples here. And then we will learn more about the third conditional rule. The first sentence, if they had worked faster, they would have finished on time. If I had more money, I would have built a bigger house. The third sentence, she might have passed the exam if she had studied harder. The fourth one, I might have caught my plane if I had left on time. Now let us see the rule. So what is the rule of the third conditional? We use the third conditional to talk about unreal situations. In the past, situations that are contrary to the facts. Two actions or two situations have in the past that are not real, not related to our uh, reality. Okay, so this is the rule. If past perfect had, would, would or wouldn't, and the past persistible. Now let us apply it on the sentence, the first sentence. If, as you see here, then the past perfect, where is the past perfect? They had worked, had worked, the past perfect, then would and the past participle have finished on time. So this is the main rule of the third conditional and you can apply it on all this, the other sentences. So the same here also. And now we will apply it to the next sentence. Okay, let us see. Here we have might and have passed the exam, uh, uh, we have if, and finally, the past perfect. Now, let us try to complete the sentences using the rule that we have just learned, the third conditional rule. Okay, let us see the first sentence. If they, Gab, the recipe, they enjoy the meal better. I give you some time to think about it. Now let us do this exercise. I'll give you some time to read. Then we will check your answers. Complete the sentences using the third conditional. I read with you the sentences from one to four. He blank here on time if he blank lost. The second sentence, I blank the text, if I blank my phone. The third sentence, they blank dinner outside, if they blank home yet. And finally, we blank the prize, if we blank as a team. Now try to think about the answers. I'll give you some time. The, third, uh, the first one is might have gotten. Why might have gotten? Because as you see, might should be uh, followed by the third form of uh, got, which is gotten. Then had got is also the, uh, the third form of get is got. And this can be applied to the rest of the sentences might have seen and hadn't turned off, might have eaten and hadn't gotten, might have worn and had worked. As you see here, two, uh, uh, all the sentences refer to two actions happened in the past that was not real and not rela related to 
reality. Now, in your notebook, write four sentences using the third conditional starting with if and four sentences using third conditional with might. Now we will move to the reading part. Before reading the paragraphs, write down the following. In your notebook, write the following three names, Khaled, Mariam, and Sam, mistake, cause, and result. Okay? I'll give you some time to write it. Now let us move to Khaled's paragraph. I'll read it for you first, then we'll try to extract the, uh, the main things that I have just mentioned. I'm standing alone in the restaurant waiting for my friends. I am sure they said we would meet at the restaurant and that's why I went. I wondered why no one showed up on time, but I couldn't call them to ask since my phone was off. Ali is certain that he told me to meet them at the cafe. I guess I didn't hear him probably. He should have texted me the correct location. Now let us see the answer of Khalid's paragraph. Now let us see, what, what was the mistake of Khal's paragraph? Think about it. Yes, correct. He went to the wrong place. Why did he went to the wrong place? Because he didn't hear Ali well. Okay? And as a result of that mistake, he went to the restaurant instead of a cafe. Very good. Now let us read Marian's paragraph. My friend Sarah needed me to help her write an essay for school. I was rushing to the airport and I wasn't focused on what I was texting. She called me when my plane landed in Paris. She was so annoyed that she couldn't understand the essay at all. It turned out that, it turned out that the autocorrection on my phone replaced many words with others that did not make any sense in the paragraph, and that is why she couldn't understand it. That is what I get for not proofreading what I have written. Now, let us uh, find. So, what was the mistake in Marian's paragraph? Typos, and what cause? She was in a rush. And what was the result of her mistake? The essay didn't make any sense. Now the last uh, paragraph will be Sam's. Let us read it together. Now let us read Sam's paragraph. I went to the cinema today with my brother. We watched a horrible movie. It was the worst ever. My brother and I got to the cinema a bit late and it was the only movie playing at the time, at that time. My brother advised me to wait until tomorrow but I didn't listen and wanted to watch one at the time. I will never watch a movie without checking its reviews ever again. It was absolutely a waste of time. Now let us see the answers. The mistake was clear. He watched a different movie that, that, than the one he wanted. And what was the, the cause of that? He was late, and the result was a bad movie. This was the result of his mistake. Now, Sam, Khalid, and Maryam, what kind of, uh, what kind of mistakes do they make? Bad technology we have here, bad information, and bad decision. So let us try to match. I'll give you some time to think about it. OK. Very good. Sam. Mistake was bad decision. Khaled, bad information. And Maryam, bad technology. Thank you for your attention and see you soon.